Like this the whole time. Yeah! Oh, nice weather we had today. Makes me want to take it in for a walk. We're prepared for the festivals. For I will not go easy on anyone today. Glorious greetings! The weather today is beautiful! Today's summer harvest festival should be bushels and baskets of fun! It's already afternoon, yet I am crossed off my to-do list is write a to-do list. It's not afternoon, is it? You always face stiff competition harvest festivals this time of year. Why? Because some are harder than others. Ugh. Oh, it is afternoon. Hello. It's really nice out. Do you think it'll be okay if I close up for the day? Yeah, because it's closed. A whole for all fish would make cat. Took happier than a prepared one, right? That makes it nice and easy. Which fish should I give her this year? Hey there. Now keep your mind sharp when you stop thinking. That's when all hell breaks loose. Is it? I guess I better get my game face on for today's festival. Hello there. Lovely day, isn't it? Weather like this makes the bread baking process go very smoothly. What? <laughs> Looks like we have an exciting day ahead of us. Make sure you eat something before the festival starts. You can't compete on an empty stomach. Yeah, I can. Hello, dear. Isn't today lovely? Warm, bright days like this put a smile on my face and a spring in my step. Will you join us today, dear? This is a lovely opportunity to show everyone the results of your hard work. I had my way. I'd take sunny weather over rainy day any day. Easier to work with. Today's summer harvest festival should be mighty fun. Today's summer harvest festival should be mighty fun. Okay. Like the end of this festival, you bet. Without further ado, the Summer Harvest Festival will now begin. Now, ladies and gentlemen, our final entry for the day, Izzy's Turnip. Excellent. This crop is in season for the Summer Harvest Festival. Now let's take a closer look. Yes, a decent specimen overall. Now to judge its quality. This is one beautiful turnip. I'm impressed, Izzy. <laughs> With that appetizer out of the way, we can move on to the main course. Appeal time. No, this is nonsense. Izzy, are you ready? Ready. That's what I like to hear. Let's begin with the word from our contestant, Izzy, if you please. Ready and ready to go. Skip it. Oh, la la. Izzy, I think you made a make a way better snack than your turnip. Dude, Milla, no. I mean, I wouldn't just eat a turnip straight, but I guess some people would, so... It only makes sense that something you grew yourself would taste divine. I can tell even without trying it. See how judging works! But you still should. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I suppose you are right. Well then, may I sample it? Oh sure, go ahead. Wait a minute, did I fall for her flattery? <laughs> uh, everyone here's all vegetables this. Oh, that's you. Uh, everyone here's all vegetables this and flowers that. This whole festival is deadly boring. I don't want anything to do with it. Then why don't we eat some together? T t together? Yeah, I'm sure you'd learn to like them after discovering just how delicious they can be. Uh, well, if you insist. Those wouldn't have to try some. Your turnips look so yummy. I'd love to cook something with your crops someday. You're my guest. Thanks. I'll make sure to pay you a fair price for them, too. Alright, that was our final question about the turnip. Ooh. This concludes the judging portion of this event. Please wait while we calculate the results. That entire thing was nonsense. All the truth is, nonsense. the results are in, so let's announce the winners. Mm -hmm. Third place is Pikachu. 
What? In third place we have Pikachu. Oh, it is Pikachu. It's the detective. The detective. You no know, go. That's <laughs> how so we do things. I put a decent amount of effort into this. So it's nice to see that was reflected in the results. Second place we have... Pikachu again. Oh. See, it's <laughs> Pikachu again. <laughs> see, these things happen. Nice. <laughs> Thanks. Good, I, good thing I conducted a proper investigation beforehand. What? What? And now the moment we've all been waiting for. The winner of Summer Harvest Festival is... Also Pikachu. Uh, it's that dragon, isn't it? No, it's the third one. Three Kachu. Oh, it is Pikachu! <laughs> what? It's a turnip! Is he? How that ass for two or anything months? <laughs> yeah, you, are, and you, are, you came dressed in regalia for your pitch. Woohoo! I did it! I'm number one! Congratulations on your stunning victory! Congrats? That's worth celebrating. Two Pikachus in a turnip costume! Wow, what an amazing victory! Congratulations! Everyone did their very best. That's all I could ever ask for. Let's Don't change. forget to pick up your prizes before you head back home. That concludes today's festivities. Well done, everyone. Do you get another turnip hat? Alright! Alright! Bone boots. Right. Ooh, a vital gummy. Bone, bone, bone. What was that one? Just fish. Regular food. Let's dig it. Extra vitality. Now you can talk to everyone and they can congratulate you. Mm. From your weird camera angle that it's refusing to change. Congratulations, I'm sure you're not that isn't perfect. Congratulations, Congratulations Izzy. What? what an amazing accomplishment. I didn't cook corn, Heinz. Or I didn't grow corn for this. You did it. I'm here, Victor. i tomorrow. Well, what if I could? Yeah. Shock and awe! Bravo, bravo! Oh, hail the conquering hero! Congratulations, Izzy! You turned this gardening contest into a gardening conquest! See, that's... that's, that's... It's a lot better than the actual pun guy. Congrats, champ. I hope you'll entertain us until Lake Fed again in the next festival. Congratulations! Congratulations, Izzy! I was genuinely impressed by the breadth of your farming knowledge. What farming knowledge? Uh, yeah. Congratulations! Congratulations, dear! You were quite the star today. Although I'm afraid you didn't outshine my Randall. To me, he will always be the brightest star of all. He didn't even come in third. Congrats, Izzy. You did a fine job. Wow. Congrats, Izzy. I'm gonna grow something that'll beat you next time. You'll see. No, you won't. You won't. You're not Pikachu. Where'd she go? How did only detectives and me win this year? And you were a detective for a while. I, I was. Detectives are farmer. Give the good farms. What should they say? It's not in a good mood. Congrats! So much fun to watch. I'm gonna be heading now. Illegal. Oh, oh, the kids all like. <laughs> oh no, they're pushing. <laughs> they're pushing each other. Don't worry, I'm first of all, it's exceedingly bright. This is wonderful. I'm not doing this this many more times. I'll talk to Cecil at least. <laughs> this is wonderful. <laughs> Lucas is at three. Lucas is now at three. Yep. Lucas is at seven. It's good. Cecil and Fuka. Best characters. Why is he walking so weird? 
Because the screen is weird. Because everything is weird. No, I mean, Kit's, like, twitching. Congrats, you won! I'll try even harder next time. Congratulations on your victory. Next time I'll challenge you for your title. Time to tackle another day. Not bad, Izzy. Not bad at all. But I won't rest on your laurels just yet. You won't beat me so easily next time. I will. <laughs> Congratulations, you sure did do well, Izzy. I'm so happy I get to see you today. Congrats on clinching the victory, Izzy. Watching you win nearly made me faint from the sheer excitement of it. Damn it, Lou Miller. She's funny. <laughs> I like my voice for her. Yeah. Congratulations, Izzy. What a stunning display of talent. I tried my hardest, but after seeing your efforts, I think you deserve first place. Alright, I gotta go kick him out real quick. Okay. Don't kick people, though. I will. Oh. Help! No violins. No, no, I'm just sad. Fine. I used a door to fix the camera. Oh, you went in and then back out? Yes. Creation of Lucy event. Hmm. What's wrong, Lucy? Those are some serious wrinkles between your eyebrows. Maybe it's just me, but I think there's something weird about the mirror my dad sent me. Huh? Weird? Yeah. Yeah. It happens when you look at your reflection in it. Suddenly all the stuff you've been keeping to yourself. Thoughts, secrets, whatever. It all just kind of comes tumbling out. That sounds familiar. What have you shown this mirror to? Huh, um, let me think. Reinhard, Randolph, and Martin, I think. I knew it. No wonder they were all acting so strangely. I think there's some kind of spell on this mirror. Uh, what, like a mummy's curse? I sure hope not! What was that? Huh? Hey, get back here! Give me back my mirror! Now you gotta go find the monster that stole the mirror. Hello there. Izzy, have you seen Lucy? Yeah, but uh, Bird just stole her mirror. She went running after it towards the east. Hmm, hmm. that could be an issue. Is something the matter? Just got an emergency letter from my husband. Apparently the mirror he gave her was no ordinary trinket. It was an enchanted tool used in ancient course to ensure that the accursed would speak only the truth. Of course, yet, if you start it for too long, you risk the ability losing the ability to lie. You only speak in absolute truth at all times. First mirror! Uh oh, I can see how that'd be a problem. Everybody needs to lie. At least, at least Lucy already says exactly what she's thinking anyway. I doubt the curse would affect her much. Quite the opposite, actually. She swallows her true feelings far more than you'd think. Huh? What? Never mind. My point is that the mirror is dangerous, and I'd like to dispose of it as quickly as possible. Do you tell Lucy to bring it home right away for me? Okay. So is this where she is forced to be honest and tells you that she loves you? <sighs> Cursed mirror. So, yes. Okay. 
So in Japan, look at the little teeny tiny toothpaste bottles they give you. Fly! For the... at the hotels for toothpaste. They're too small. Tiny. They have... Three grams of toothpaste in them. No. All right. Ooh, now you have two Gaia crystals. Because you forgot to check the dragons earlier. Chimp monk. I don't even see a bird. Who's you have in the mirror? It's up in that tree. That dumb bird dumped it in its nest and then took off again. Just about to climb up there and get it. It's too dangerous. Let me do it instead. No, I couldn't ask you to do that. Besides, it's just dangerous for you. Yeah, but I have a bunch more hit points than you, Lucy. No, I'll be fine. Let me take care of it. How about you keep watch in case the bird comes back? I'll zip up there and grab the mirror. Sure. Okay, got it. Make it quick, Izzy. Weird. Usually you try to turn this into a competition. Maybe she's still under the truth spell. Anyway, I gotta get the, the, the bird before the mirror comes back. It's true. <laughs> oh, that's you. Hey, Lucy. Found it. The mirror's right here. I just have to get down and... Gravity. Watch out! Izzy, watch out! Bird's back. Whoa. Yeah. Hey, stop flapping oh, at me! Hey, stop flapping at me! Oh, oops. Izzy! I broke the thing. Ouch. Oh, you okay? Man, you're acting like you've read this before. Yeah. Yeah, yeah probably. A little bruised up, but I'm okay. Aw, oh, crap, you scraped your elbow. Here, let me see that. Phew, it's not bad, but you are bleeding. Let's go get you patched up. It's not gonna cost me, is it? <laughs> there, that ought to do it. Good thing I have a first aid kit with me. Probably surprising. You're a doctor's dog. Yeah, it's just habit, since Julian's always finding new and inventive ways to collect scrapes and bruises. Uh, <laughs> eh, good point. You know that badge like a pro. I'm impressed. Thanks. When I was little, I really wanted to help Mom out, so I tried studying medicine. I figured if I could assist her, then we'd spend at least a little more time together. But I'm too much of a klutz to really be of any help. At least I could help you, Izzy. That makes me glad. Yeah. yeah. You're a big help. Thanks. You're welcome. And I'm... Sorry, it's my fault you got hurt. Also, uh, I'm really sorry about how I acted when we first met. I want to apologize for that for a long time. I accuse you of being a weirdo for ages. That was a pretty messed up thing to do. Yeah, it's okay, I understand. Thanks, you really are a nice person. You are helping me, even if it means getting battered and been busy, yet you're always up for any challenge I throw at you. Even now you're listening, no matter how stupid I sound. The truth is, you've become super important to me. I'm really glad you came to Big Barn, Izzy. Thank you. Lucy. Ah, I can't believe I said all that out loud. Stupid mirror. Now what am I going to do? It's making me say all this crap and I still can't shut up. <laughs> yeah, apparently the mirror had a spell on it. One that makes people tell the truth. It's so dangerous that Simone sent me to find you. She wants to dispose of it. Panic. <clears throat> uh -huh. What? It really is cursed? Yeah, but see? My friend with the tree it's cracked. I doubt the spell on it could have survived that. Are you sure? Huh? Oh, gods! 
Then everything I said was me? Yep, you said it on your all on your own. Without any infl influence from the mirror. Ooh. Oh jeez. Now I'm so embarrassed. Don't be. I'm glad this happened. It makes me happy to hear what you really think. You're the best, Izzy. As for the mirror itself, we can ask Derek to fix it. Nah, let's not. That's a pretty dangerous artifact to have lying around. We'll leave it the way it is. Even if it's broken, it's still a gift from my dad. Besides, I've discovered something even more important. Huh? Competition. Anyways, let's head back to town, okay? That's when there's a rotten egg! I, yeah, wait, no. Cheating. I mean, you have a capture thing you could shackle her. Oh, and you can teleport. Not that it matters, because there's no plot-related thing afterwards. <sighs> yeah, see? Lucy's pretty cool. She's weird. She's obsessively competitive. And... Well, long for sure. I like the characters in this game. Except apparently hot. Yeah, no. And go fishing. Yes. I was actually already really close. Whatever. Oh, we're gonna have a little girl help you, and she's going to do just as good a job as the blacksmith. And the knight. And the carpenter. And the former adventurer, old man. Who still can win the arm wrestling competition. Throbby Snapper! Not nearly as much of a markup as the Golden Trout. Who will you give the bone boots to after upgrading them? Bone, bone, bone. so much better. <coughs> Did you find all your four-leaf clovers and those are just extras? What? Did you plant all your four-leaf clovers and those are just extras? What are extras? The three four-leaf clover seeds? Oh yeah, I planted most of them, but I saw a few. Pumpkin flan of the stars. Not any better for giving to her than regular pumpkin flan. In fact, it might be worse. 
right. Mm. None of those were relaxed tea. Not a single one. You might have leveled up your weapons a bit. I love up my swordsmanship enough to learn a new sword recipe. <laughs> Don't know if you leveled up your armor. Nope. Ah, still don't have chemistry. Oh, that's right. There was chemistry. Oh, spooky. It's a ghost building. Shadow Man's. Oh, they got that one again. Yeah, you like to silence you. Oh, they dropped something. Oh yeah, you forgot that's what you were doing. Getting a furball. Get a ram for these guys are cool looking. These are hands. Some make or another. No, they're shining panthers. No, it's a lizard man. They're shiny panthers. Lizard man. You've never seen a panther before. It looks a lot like a bear. Man, it's got man in it. It's pronounced with a diphthong. Man. Shit. Lizard man. They look as much like a shining panther. Oh, as well. oh you darkness. got hit by a darkness attack. It's gonna cost you a lot of money. It is. Screw you. Gosh, to charge me. This is a choice. It's just that one attack. If I don't see it coming in ahead of time, nothing I can do. Ooh. Oh yeah, no. I have to watch out for what's near me here. You mean you actually have to fight strategically? Eat this! Eat this indeed. Eat this! You did eat that. That's not a word. I refuse. Well, now that's pretentious. You! Back there! Reaper! Die! No, I need to kill that. Immediately. No remorse. A plate of something on the ground. Devil blood. Oh, it's yeah. a petri dish. You're almost tough. I came out of this. 
Watch out for ghosts. There's treasure on the ground, it's case it is no longer. You guys are just ripping apart my party, huh? Well, two out of three. I mean, Kit just doesn't even care. All right. That's it. That's brick. You did level up for doing it, though. That seems scary, possibly. No, this is scary. An invincible porter. Send something else out. I need munitions. Eat this. Does that have a minimum damage threshold or something? This wasn't doing enough damage. Damage is. That's what I meant. So I probably shouldn't be fighting this boss. Yeah. Absolutely should not do this. You should level up. I knew you were going to do that. <laughs> I knew you were going to do that. Oh. Unless, unless it's a forced loss. A stubborn and clearly drained every rune in your body. Uh -huh. you. But he said. You're too late. Damn it, Gideon. You have the name Gideon. That usually makes someone a villain. You've been a great help after all, is he? I knew that only the ancient dragons and the last known Earthlight could threaten my threaten to unravel my plans, and now I have two of you under my control. Hmm? But allow me to join the party. for once. This man is a traitor to see. Bay Area. Hmm. Only for a moment. Now rise up and see your mission through. Got it. Punch Gideon in the face. Yes. <laughs> Did I strike a nerve? Admit, or I admit, the word traitor. No, I yeah. admit the word traitor suits me ill. As the man planted the seeds of global justice, I refuse to reap such a bitter harvest as that. Well, then maybe don't try and kill everybody. Put the people here and expose countless others to danger. You have no right to talk about justice. I have merely committed to my path. Every step I take is to achieve peace and create absolute order, no matter the price. You have the cost of other people's lives? Luminous. Do you understand just how much tragedy befell Normad in the decades following the collapse of the Sex Empire? No, I don't. That's one way I'm afraid to recover. <clears throat> I watched helplessly as countless innocents suffered, their livelihoods stolen in the chaos and violence. Unshackled from the bonds of law and order, anarchy reigned. Brother turned on brother, committing endless atrocities against each other just to survive. Even if I could stop the injustices I saw before me, the cycle would still continue far beyond my sight. 
when man's actions could not prevent the great wheel of suffering from turning again and again. I couldn't even save those within arm's reach. The weight of my own powerlessness remained my one constant companion. Okay, it's Lord. So I made a pledge. I would gain the power to influence the entire world to reach all its people. That pledge led to an organization. It grew into seed. No, seeds grow into plants. It's true. <laughs> I was gonna make a similar joke. <laughs> All our rangers devoted their lives to our noble work. But even then, it was not enough. Monsters slipped through our net. People who lacked restraint carried out inhumane acts without fear of punishment. In vain, I searched for a way to control them. Then one day,